You were fingered as a potential <laughs> challenger to State Senator Nancy King. What are your plans for the fall? What has helped you decide whether to run or not? Well, yeah, I, uh, I'm going to give you this uh, exclusive scoop, Kojo. Uh, I, uh, I have been considering it for a long time. Uh, Nancy is a, a wonderful lady, a, a friend of mine, in fact, and uh, she's been in public service for a long time. Uh, but I think that I'm here to tell you that I'm going to be running for the state senate of Maryland uh, in the coming election. In September is the primary election, and the general election will be held in November. So I'm a candidate, and um, I'm looking forward to the opportunity to debate and represent my people. But Sakib Ali no longer a potential challenger to State Senator Nancy King. He has announced he is challenging her. Tom Sherwood? Nancy King, uh, your friend you just said, uh, supported your election as a delegate, as I understand it. Uh, right? Well, Didn't oppose it. Well, maybe, maybe that's a better way of saying it. Well, actually, yeah. When I ran for okay. office, uh, there were four of us. Right. Uh, she was one of them. She, there were four candidates for three seats for the state uh, delegates. And uh, she was one of them. She, I, she, she didn't support my office, and I didn't support. She didn't her. oppose you, as she yeah. did the, one of the incumbents at the time. But anyway, let me move let forward. the record show, Tom Sherwood. We finally got a politician who did not waffle. Okay, that's right. No waffles. We're, we've moved on to lunch and dinner now. You're, you're trying to eat Nancy <laughs> King for dinner now. No, but, no, but then she ran for the state senate. Is that correct? Uh, well, that's when not, did she when did she get, it, get it, into the Senate? That's not quite I'm how sorry. it happened. That's not quite Wait, how it happened. How did she get in the Senate? Uh, she was appointed. Point, okay, so she was appointed so by right. the Central Committee. So it's technically an open seat that she's just filling into the next election. Some would say. She she said when you ran and won that you were a breath of fresh air. What would she say now? Um, I, well, I, I can tell you what she said publicly. <laughs> what she said is that it would be better for Saqib Ali to focus on accomplishing things in the House so that he has a record that he can actually run on, what achievements in Annapolis do you think you can show to Nancy King and others that give you the credibility to mount a challenge to her? Well, I'm glad you asked. Um, this session, I had one of my most productive sessions in the General Assembly ever in all my four years there. I did a lot of great things, and uh, I'm very proud. One of the bills I introduced was called the Legislative Sunshine Voting Act. And what this bill did, it was very simple. Uh, it's a weird thing in Annapolis. Uh, we take hundreds and hundreds of votes. Some of the votes we take on the floor of the legislature and some of the votes we take in committees. Now the votes that we take on the floor of the legislature, anybody in the whole world can go online on the internet and look at those votes. But the votes that we take in committee, and sometimes they're the most crucial votes right. of all, those are not posted That's where online. the work's really done. Yeah, those aren't posted online. So I had a bill that said, hey, let's just post all the votes online. That bill, although it didn't pass, uh, its provisions were implemented administratively because of my bill and because of the uh, high profile um, that this bill, uh, high pro profile media coverage that this bill gained. And now you, you or Tom or anybody else or my uh, grandmother and uh, Glenn Burney or anywhere else. Nancy can, King. <laughs> Nancy <laughs> King. We can all go online now and look at these votes. It's a great thing for democracy. It's a great thing for transparency and a great thing for accountability.